Well, some Racine filmmakers have made a movie about the history of a notorious Cream City crime boss. Yeah, Hillary Mance is here with more on why they're telling the story now about the Milwaukee Mafia. Hillary. Well, hey, guys, these filmmakers don't in any way condone the kind of behavior this mob boss was associated with. They also don't want this part of Milwaukee's history to be forgotten. It's of Al Capone, John Gotti, and Lucky Luciano. But a less known story is the man who ran the mafia in Milwaukee. Frank Balistrieri. The name Balistrieri is well known in Milwaukee, but the name Frank Balistrieri is synonymous with ties to the Milwaukee mob, a powerful mafia boss from the 1960s to 80s. Milwaukee has quite the unique history in crime. Now Racine County filmmakers Jason Love and Wayne Klingman are reviving part of the Bruce City's dark history in their new documentary called Milwaukee Mafia. They spent nearly a year researching and making the movie about the guy nicknamed the Mad Bomber. It is alleged that he had people blown up. Okay. In their cars. In their cars, yes. They also highlight Balistrieri's connections to mobs in Chicago, Las Vegas, and New York. Here in Milwaukee's Third Ward is where the filmmakers say Balistrieri is reportedly connected to several suspicious incidents. That Frank and his guys did again horrific things. That they're not necessarily nice people but it's still part of our history. These two say they had no fear making this film because all of their information is public record. They just put it all together. It's been forgotten in a lot of ways. There is people who remember, but like my generation, most of us have no, no clue that this existed. A made man whose infamous stories continue to live on. Balistrieri went to federal prison twice for racketeering and tax evasion, and he died in 1993. His two sons also served time. These filmmakers say they've reached out to the family but have not heard back. There's a showing in Racine, guys, tomorrow at 1 p.m. at the Masonic Temple. They say seats are limited, so well, there's, you know, there's always been a big fascination with mob life. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And here in Milwaukee, people want to go see it. We've been talking about mob movies all morning <laughs> yeah, because of your report. Yeah, very yeah. good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.